$40. Wait, I'm actually cute. Shook. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna go thrifting. Before we start with our day, we're gonna do our makeup. I first started off with moisturizer, the CeraVe Daily Moisturizer. Then I used the Rode Peptide Glazing Fluid. Can you see my armpits? Because, I don't know, that's cute. First, I like drench my face in this. Then I'll do my soap brows, but I use the Got To Be Glue. I literally have used the heck out of this because that's the only thing that holds my eyebrows. I've tried like brow gel, no. To those girlies out there, what do you do when you're wearing a white tank or like a white top? I don't like to wear bras. I like probably like once every few months wear a bra if I really have to. Right now I'm wearing like bralette type of thing under. You can like see it and it's like not cute. So like what do you wear? I think that's as good as I'm gonna get them. Now my skin's super red because sensitive skin. In one of my previous videos, I was saying how I don't really like heavy makeup, which is true. And it's been so long since I've put on a foundation and the other day I put some on and I was shook. I was like, wait. I'm actually cute. I don't know. I guess like it's just been so long. So I'm just gonna put a little bit. The only con, this foundation is my holy grail. It has like super good reviews. And I do highly recommend it. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I use this shade sand if anyone cares. The only con I have of this is that it has such a strong scent. Like it smells like paint. But I put like the tiniest. I put like that much on my hand. Before I do that though, I'm gonna put the glazing fluid. My boyfriend went to the gym and then he's gonna pick me up so we can drop me off to the thrift store because we only have one car. I took forever to pick out an outfit, so I think I'm screwed because I still have to do packages. If he says he's on his way, I'm dead. And just putting this little amount makes such a difference. I'm actually shook. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty beauty there's a hair in it pro filter concealer i've noticed that in all my thrifting videos i think i'm in a bun like i don't think i ever have my hair down um and i think that's because i always decide to film like in the middle of the week and i wash my hair on the weekend so like by that time already my hair is already oily and i'm like um i'll just do a bun and now that i look ghostly i'm gonna do the milk makeup bronzer in bait i am so excited for summer i want to be summer so bad and actually it feels like summer today because it's 90 degrees outside where i live i have an island nearby which sounds so bougie but is it really that bougie i don't know my new place is actually closer to the island than my older place. So that's a huge pro. And I feel like this summer, I already told my boyfriend, this summer we are going to the island at least once a week. I'm so excited for tan skin. My skin looks better. Everything's just better during the summer. I think that has to do with like the sea salt in the water. This summer is gonna be it with like everything, like Depop, Instagram, like everything's gonna pop off. Now I'm using the Rare Beauty in Happy and then I'm mixing it with Charlotte Tilbury blush, the one that everyone uses. That Charlotte Tilbury blush was so expensive or is so expensive. I feel like I haven't used this blush a lot and it's already empty. Will I buy it again? No, I don't think I'm gonna buy it again. Maybe if it lasted longer for the price. Normally, when I go to the thrift store, I do not dress up at all. But since now I'm doing YouTube and now I'm thinking like I need to start posting more on Instagram so like take advantage and like take pictures at the thrift store. If you haven't heard my story yet, if you're on TikTok, you know who Alex Earl is. She was showing her eyelash mascara routine and she's like, I used the curler and then I freaking press it super hard and like her eyeball was like going crazy. I literally did that and a huge chunk of my eyelashes came out and I'm not even kidding. So whenever I wear mascara, there's just like a huge bald spot. So I've been avoiding mascara and yes, I'm still curling my lashes, but I'm not like going crazy with it. I've been loving this fruit fetish Milani, it's drugstore, Milani lip oil and strawberry melon. It's literally already empty. That's how much I love it. And it smells so good. When I'm looking at myself in the mirror, I look cute. But then when I look at myself in the viewfinder, I don't look cute. Maybe I'm just ugly. I don't know. Um, shook. Now let's go upstairs and do some packages. Let me 
show you my outfit real quick and let me know what you think like i feel like i really don't have clothes i just have basic things which i like basic it's the thing i wear the most so like i'm fine with it but then it ends up getting like boring so i don't know i recently thrifted this mini skirt it fit me perfect so i love and i'm just wearing this white tank top i believe it's from target and i folded it up to look cropped because i'm a crop hoe <laughs> it looks weird right but then when i put on the jacket it's like whatever you can't really tell the other jacket i also thrifted inside's red Oh no. Look. Okay. Yeah, he's on his way. Anyways, I'm wearing these boots that I also thrifted. I'm gonna be pairing it with this coach purse that's on my Depop. I'm just gonna bring it with me for Instagram pictures and marketing. <laughs> so go shop on my Depop. It's like so basic, but I am basic. Now we're in the office. Let's take out everything that's sold and I'll tell you how much it's sold for. Finally, this sold. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I got a counter offer for $110 and I accepted it. So this finally sold. Then we have this gorgeous, I love this dress. Strapless Charlotte Rose embroidered midi dress. This sold for $40. Then I have this crochet long sleeve. This sold for $30. Then we have this Y2K mini brown skirt. I love the cute hoop on the side. I sold this for $32. Then we have this denim vest. This sold for $35. And that's all we have to ship today. So I'm gonna get them tied up. I had to take off my boots because they were killing me already. Now we're going to print out the labels. This jacket is going to have to go in a USPS priority mailbox. So I'm going to weigh it with the box. Recently, I said in my previous video, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. How I switched to my own shipping because I felt like Depop shipping was getting expensive. They recently raised their prices. Let's compare the price right now and see the price difference. This is a big jacket, probably gonna be like the most expensive shipping price. Let's see how much it weighs. It weighs two pounds and 9.5 ounces, $16.15 on Depop. Let's see how much it is with Pirate Ship. That is a $2.50 difference, which doesn't seem like a lot, but like to the buyer, it is. I was also talking about in my last video my favorite poly mailers. Right now I'm using these. The cherry poly mailers that I had like sold out or like not available. I saw on Amazon yesterday. They now have blue ones, which why not pink? Like I'm not a blue girl, I'm more of a pink girl. But if you like blue and you're into the cherry ones, I'll have them linked in my Amazon storefront in the description if you want to go shop those. The first place I went to is the bikini section. I, like I said, I'm sorry for summer. I actually one time found a triangle bikini here at this thrift. Um, I'm still shook about it. I didn't find any like matching sets. Then I moved on to the lingerie section. I found this early 2000s Victoria's Secret cami top. It's actually from the year 2000. If you don't know, you can check the year and the month it came out on the tags. Then I moved on to the lingerie dresses and I found this slip. It had a cute lace slit. It was kind of pricey. So I was like, if I find better and I found this one and I liked it a lot better. And I feel like you could also wear this out because the bust part is it see-through for me i only get lingerie if it's like an item that you can actually wear out because i feel like it sells more i also found this floral cami it came with like a matching robe i wasn't like 100 sure about it but i held on to it then i moved on to the skirts i found this 90s floral maxi skirt another one same brand it's just a different print i like the red print better so i got that one as i was going through the skirts i noticed this mud i couldn't figure out this button situation for a while but i got it figured out they were so cool flared I love like the fadedness on it then back to the skirts then I found this polka dot print midi skirt from Express I found this early 2000s mesh top are you kidding me decided to make a reel slash tiktok if you haven't followed me go follow me this top is one of my favorite finds so far it's actually early 2000s rave 
the cowl neckline. Everything was just so gorgeous about this top. The fit of this top wasn't what I liked, so I ended up not taking it. Then I moved on to tube tops. This one is early 2000s Charlotte Russe pinstripe kind of like a vest vibe then i found this casual pink striped tube top it reminded me of matilda jerf or jerf avenue very summer vibes it still had the tags and i found these red overall shorts it's by the brand no boundaries perfect for the summer i found the cutest milkmaid dress i was shook another vintage dress this one is kind of like patchwork print i don't know it was cool very flattering cow neckline, super pretty. This dress, I did not take. And looking at this video, I don't know what the heck I was thinking. The slit, are you kidding me? Very fairy vibes. Why did I not get this? I don't know. Um, Hopefully they have it when I go back. Then we have this early 2000s halter romper. Are you kidding me? It was bodycon fit, super flattering. It comes with a belt. You can like take it off or adjust it however you want. Here I am deciding what I'm going to take, what I'm not going to take. And that was it for this thrift trip. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday. Mm -hmm.